and then try restarting again. And it'll say it's connected. And it'll disconnect and... It just doesn't work properly. What an odd looking cactus. <sighs> I hate my internet so much. No way. I don't want to be inside if that guy actually gets lucky and hits the house. Okay. Hmm. Go that way. Ugh. <sighs> What's it like to have working internet, guys? What's that like? Because I've never experienced it. I've always had shit internet wherever I've been, so... <laughs> it's great! I love it! I love living in an area with no fiber optic cables. table must have been a hand-me-down. Oh, very funny. If that's a ring finger, I'd hate to see the size of the ring. Nothing happened. I'm sure one of these does something. Ooh. Sea slug pate. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. I'm just checking some notifications there. What a strange mirror. Beats. Beady. 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 I cannot remember if there's something I can do here to. Climb ladder. That's different. I think I need to be in the bar first, because that's like the sort of the first port of call, as it were. <laughs> the screen's still broken. That's what I was thinking. I you can't hit that balloon over there. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Did hey, he die? Pretty good. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Pretzels. Mm. Voodoo jerky for I guess he won't be needing these anymore. Let's just uh pocket them. <laughs> Ugh. Hello again, Mr. Cheese. Tell me again about this thing you call insult arm wrestling. I thought I'd made myself clear. It's just like insult sword fighting, but with arm wrestling. Ah. Hmm. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to convince you to navigate my ship to Lucre Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? If I beat you at insult arm wrestling, will you be my navigator? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition, Threepwood. It is? 
I mean, of course it is. How about this? If you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great. But only if you teach me some new insults. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. Oh, man. Um... You suck. You're not very nice. You're a big poopy head. Hmm. Uh, give up now or I'll crush you like a grape. I would if it would stop your whining. Only once have I met such a coward. Hold on. Uh... He must have taught you everything you know. I know that one. I've out wrestled octopi with these arms. I am rubber. I I doesn't doesn't know the answer to that one. Do I see quivers of agony dance on your lip? It's laughter that's caused by your feathery grip. My 98-year-old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Um. Hmm. Yeah, but we've both got better bladder control than you do. Okay, I got that one. Um. My forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. Oh, how appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh, we didn't know that one either. Your arms are no bigger than fleas that I've met. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Got him. Yeah, I won. You did. Fair and square. Congratulations. You got yourself a navigator. We got a navigator. Yeah. Ooh. I just had a thought. Let's just uh, dash all the way over to... And I'm dropping frames again. What's the point with this internet, man? What is the actual point with this internet? Oh, it's not dropping for too long, though. Oh, okay, that was just a slight blip. I take back my... Uh, take back my rage. Yeah. My nose is completely bunged up right now. Hmm. Let's try forty seven, six point seven, go. Okay. Let's make a slingshot. Not a bad piece of modern art, if I do say so myself. Um, excuse me. What? Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the cat <sighs> pokes out of a line. Uh, I wouldn't want to waste one of hey these. Hey, Maddie. Moments. They're expensive. How are you doing? Hmm. Kind of. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. I've got to see if I can, um... Would you like a pretzel? Hey there. Here, I brought you some kudu jerky pretzels. Really? Thanks. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. You know, you could thank me by not chucking big old boulders at my house. I could, but I won't. Now leave me alone for a minute while I eat these. Ah. Oh, ungrateful. Okay. Yeah. Just mess with this. Hey, 
What do you think you're doing? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. What you trying to do to me? You're killing me over here. Well, guess I'm gonna have to start over with my calibration cactus over there. Get out of my way. I got some I chips and curry right. sauce, apparently. Well, wow. calibrated to the cactus. Let's try it. Fire! What the? Uh oh. Huh. Ah! Oh. Things dirty. Ah! Oh, never mind. Oh my God. Do you have any idea what those things cost? They don't grow on trees, you know. Well, that's one problem solved. Guess what? I'm still dead. But don't worry, I'll love you even after rigor mortis sets in. We've been Ooh. gone so long they didn't think I was coming back. So those numb skulls at City Hall declared me dead at sea. What about me? Did they say anything about me? No. Then they decided to sell <laughs> no. all my belongings and destroy the mansion. That's terrible. Did they sell any of my stuff? A and the worst part is, they've ordered a new election for the office of governor. Hmm, maybe I should run. So far, there's only one candidate. And, you know, the old slogan. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Who are you? The name, Mr. Threepwood, is Charles L. Charles. Oh, really? I wonder who you are. Me the next governor of Melee Island. You can't be the governor. I'm the governor. And it's a lifetime term. Well, that's Hello, Tenwin. Right, how are you doing? Isn't it? You've been declared dead. So I've heard. How did that happen? Who can say? Uh, perhaps if you'd spent a little more time... That voice is familiar. ...time gallivanting all over the Tri-Island area with your pet monkey, the good citizens of Melee wouldn't have come to the mistaken conclusion that you were pushing up the petunias. Wait a second. Was I the pet monkey in that last sentence? Okay, we get it. You're running for governor. But why destroy my mansion? Oh, that. When you died, the mansion became the property of the state. As a favor to me, the future governor of Melee Island, the town elders contracted a demolition firm. That's me. To destroy yeah. this That's me. bourgeois symbol of the elitist piratocracy. But why? Because the days of pirate princesses ruling from secluded mansions are over, my friend. They are? Indeed they are, lad. If the Melee Island of tomorrow is to prosper, it must be governed by a man of the people. A man unafraid to mingle with the common folk. A man who won't hide in a man guarded by vicious piranha poodles. A man like you? Precisely. He makes a lot of I know we haven't had a video in a while. Like I'm sorry. Oh, guy brush. Well, I've got hands to kiss and babies to shake. Ta! Something fishy about that guy. Really? I thought he smelled more like a rotting corpse. I've got another plan. With maybe a hint of oregano. Uh, guy brush. Uh, yes, dear? I'm going back to City Hall to run against Charles. Woohoo! How can I help? Go to Lucre Island to talk to the family lawyers. But why? I destroyed the catapult. Yes, dearest, I know. But with that demolition order hanging over the mansion, another catapult could come at any moment. We need the kind of restraining order that only okay. my family lawyers can provide. But I want to come up with clever campaign slogans and do ops research. Guy Brush, love of my life, I'm a politician. Let me do what I do best. I'll let you do what you do best. What's that? Sailing around the Tri Island area on hmm. seemingly Those are some errands. good chips. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Oh, what I meant to say was. Venturing into troubled waters on dangerous quests. Well, okay then. That's more like it. Okay. I'm off to start my campaign. Don't spend too much time on Lucre Island, dearest. I like how this game still has the curly clouds from Curse of Monkey Island. I like those curly clouds. Let's have a look at the mansion, actually. Let me in. Let me in! Here we go. Oh yeah, it's the same layout as Moncal and Warner's and everything. I remember this. You go through here and then there's like that little um cutscene. We don't know many coats in these tropical climbs. And you get burst out there and everything that's A 
Ahoy there, matey. What are you doing? I'm still working on that video, Ten One. <laughs> I just haven't put much into it, I'm afraid. I've been busy. I got a job and stuff. Hmm. I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. I already know about these things, so. It's the door to our bedroom. <laughs> okay, Brush. It's the door to the kitchen. Where to go next? Oh, hold on. We promised government jobs to Kala and Otis. We might be able to get that here. And we can get our crew together. Because we need the crew, um, the boat. We've already got the navigator. I like how the uh, inventory is basically like the, um, you know, Tomb Raider one. That's cute. Anything else I can grab here? Lamp. Government paper. It's a government paper of some sort. Can I take that? I think I need them. Might as well see if I can take everything here as well. If I can. I find China. I, I don't even think about touching the China guy, bro. Oh god, I'm dropping frames. I'm not touching it. No, sir, not me. Uh oh. Dropping frames again, guys. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that, there we go. Is it done? No, it's still happening. Okay, now it's done. Is chat disappearing faster than the stream as usual? I don't know, it just disappears quickly on the... on my streams. I don't know what if I've adjusted the uh, settings on that. But yeah, the, the chat disappears quite quickly. I should probably let it linger around, I don't know. Ugh. It's this way? Aha. Joke. What? This contract is not even being signed by the governor. Oh. We may be down on our luck, pirates, but we're not stupid. Oh. Come back when you've got a signed contract. Okay. All the way back. Right. Run, Guybrush. With your little doofy run. Hmm. 
Oh. Uh, these tank controls are awkward sometimes. What's this for? I'm not sure. I just have a hunch that a signed government contract might be useful. All right, let me sign it. What about this one? I don't know if I can use this for anything, but uh. You know, maybe I should look at these and figure out what they are before I bug a lane with them. Okay. Uh. The header says melee government employment contract, cushy edition. Oh, okay. Another contract? Just to be safe. Well, so much for my status as a reform candidate. <laughs> All right, let me sign it. Yeah, Simon Max hit the road, Nico. <clears throat> it's on GOG and Steam, I think now. I thought we agreed that you wouldn't be spreading your messy inventory over our nice clean floor. <laughs> uh, sorry, honey, this will only take a moment. Okay. Just be warned, Simon Max Hit the Road is a difficult game. Much more difficult than the other Simon Max games. Hey Foxy, how are you doing? Gotta give out some cushy government jobs. <coughs> a signed contract. Well, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Good. Aha! Um, Carla, do you even know what half of this stuff means? Not a clue. But look, it says cushy in the title. Well, all right then. All right, Threepwood. You've got yourself a crew. Hey. Now we need a boat. Or maybe another crew member, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we can find Meat Hook again. Oh. I thought that was a ghost there. I was like, what is that? It's a bird flying across the screen. <laughs> I was like, why is there a ghost floating on by? Yeah. Hey, look, a full moon. Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? It's me again. Go away. Maybe you want some pretzels? If I go around offering these to everyone and everything I see, I won't have any for myself. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm to the moon, yeah. I need a boat, so... Do you want this as proof that I'm government? I think she'd like it. Oh. Hi, I'm back. Nice night for a sail, huh? It would be if you had a boat. Uh... I'm commandeering a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. Okay. This red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. Okay. I wonder if there's something else at the mansion I can get to prove that, you know, 
it's official government business. Go back to the mansion again. Probably missed yet another thing. And I'm, I think I might be dropping a few frames again. Okay. That stopped again. Or has it? No, it's keeping going. Um, please stop. I'm sorry, my internet is just pure garbage. I don't have an area that covers... Um, basically, my street isn't covered by fiber optic cables. So... We're basically stuck with, you know, old copper wiring. So, you know, that's cool. Let's have a look. How could a mere painting capture the essence of my love? Oh, that's so sweet, Guy Brush. Now get back to work. Uh, yes, dear. It's a portrait of Elaine's grandfather, Horatio T. Marley. This must have been painted years before his yacht was sucked into a whirlpool off the coast of Australia 20 or so years ago. Never to be seen again. Hey, it's Elaine as a little kid with Grandpa Marley. Oh, how cute. Don't make me get out your baby pictures. But honey, you don't have any of my baby pictures. No, but I have some of you crying after you got smacked in the head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something here. Groovy banner. For some reason, it makes me want to ride a hog. Chess set? I love chess. Especially the horsies. I've got no time for easily mastered games like chess. Groovy banner. For some reason, it makes me okay. want to ride a hog. I like this kind of commode better than the one in the bathroom. The one made of uh, porcelain. Kybridge has this weird thing about porcelain. I think that was introduced in Curse of Monkey Island. I'm not entirely sure what it's about. It's kind of just a thing. The door to our bedroom. <laughs> okay. Okay, get down the... Guybrush, please get down the stairs. There we go. Oh. Kitchen door. The door to the kitchen. Can I use it? I would, but for some reason Elaine has locked it up. Okay, what about the bedroom door? Is that locked up? This is no time to sleep. Uh, I don't want to sleep. Okay. We don't own many coats in these tropical climes. Oh. This clock appears to be stuck at 610. The pendulum isn't moving either. <gasps> maybe we're stuck in some kind of temporal anomaly where time stands still forever. Or maybe the clock hasn't been wound in three months. That could work too. Uh, there has to be something I'm missing here. What are you doing here, Guybrush? I'm having a little trouble with the ship. What kind of trouble? I don't have the authority to requisition one. Help me. Can you believe that? Me. There must be a bunch of new people around here since we left. Here, take this. It should give you... Ah, that's how you get it. Okay. What's this do, Hickey? It's the official gubernatorial... I knew you had to get something. I couldn't remember what it was. It conveys the authority of the office of governor. It also gets the holder in some pretty great parties. <laughs> a true pirate doesn't need some gubernatorial symbol to prove he commands respect. Yes, well, all the same, I, I think you better take it. Oh, all right. Oh, does this mean I get to run the island now? I've got some revolutionary ideas about subsidized childcare. Just get okay. back the minute you return from Lucre Island. I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go! This way. I need a ship. I told you, you don't have the authority to... Check this out. What's this? The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your ship. That walk. We're gonna get the pink one. Oh, good night, Gray. This is the dainty lady. It's pink. You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But, but it's pink. Now there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First, <coughs> bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? Well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. Bye. <laughs> no. And enjoy your voyages on the dainty lady. Well, pink. Is that my navigator? Hey, and my crew. I guess we're. That's it then. Is that the ship? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make it. <laughs> no. Notice. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luker Island in search of high adventure. <laughs> <laughs> binding restraining. Oh. All ending <laughs> Mark my words. I feel so bad. I'm surviving, Nico. It's okay. It's okay, man. There you go, Mr. Marley. Oh. Ah, Luker Town. The largest urban center in the Tri Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, Give this man some soup. We can get here with a little less drama. Oh no. There's not going to be a next time you <sighs> Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. Yeah, that's the end of the pier right here. Oh, I guess. Oh, it's just walked off then. Life preservers, do I need one of them? No, Elaine probably wouldn't like that. Buckets of rotting fish and a duck. It's a rather unspectacular duck. All ducks are spectacular. I I've grabbed the duck. Check out my duck. Oh. <laughs> Can I put it in my inventory? Oh, there he goes. We have a duck now.
Who are you? Let me... Yeah. Let's sit on the bench. Oh, I've ducked it. You just shoved a duck in your pants. I did. You know, sitting here gets a guy to did. Life is like pillaging a trading vessel bound for Jamestown. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh, That's it's a Forrest Gump reference. That's funny. Ah, uh, there's nothing. Uh, no. I guess I'm not getting that rotting fish. I should go to the law offices before I get some bait. Oh, I've got to go to the law offices. But I have a duck. Yeah. There he is! <laughs> Look at him wiggling about in my inventory. What's this place then? Luker Island Port Authority. Can I go in? I better not go in there or they might get on my case about the damage my navigator did to the docks. Oh, whoa. Oh, hold on. Oh, God. Uh, tank controls make this confusing sometimes. The law office is where I need to be. Excuse me, is this? Come in, come in, come in. What can we do for you? This is, these are some very gothic can. lawyers. Of course we can. What is it, wrongful dismemberment? Hit and run dinghy accident? Hurt your back while pillaging another ship? Uh, no. I need you to see if you can save my house from being destroyed. That doesn't sound very prestigious. Lucrative. Did I mention that my house is the governor's mansion on Melee Island? Governor's mansion, you say? Well, that changes things. Nice use of the TM. But you can't be the governor. I'm here representing the Honorable Elaine Martin <coughs> Tuesday, governor of the tri and area. She's my wife. Oh, I get it. He's joking about the wife thing. And people think lawyers have no sense of humor. You know, it's illegal to make such wrongful and preposterous claims. Should we sue him? How much money do you think he has? I'm serious. We just got back from our honeymoon. Three glorious months on the high seas. <coughs> and returned to find the mansion under siege by a dastardly demolitionist. Is this alleged demolitionist well? Oh. Hmm. Yes, we could sue them. Put a lien on their catapult. File a writ of habeas money. Wouldn't you rather go after the big bucks? If Elaine wins the election, she'll be a powerful person. And if the mansion is saved, she'll have someone to thank. And if that someone is you... We would be given a lot of money? Uh, not given. Think outside the juror's box, my esteemed colleagues. We could become the official lawyers for the Tri-Island area. Yes, the preferred legal team of the governor's office. What do you need from us, young fellow? I don't know. You handled Grandpa Marley's estate, right? Right, right, right. Did he have a plan for such a crisis? Nope. 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 But we'll get right on it. Right. Right. Okay, I'll wait. Actually, this may take a while. Legal issues can be quite complicated. And take a lot of research. Isn't there something else you could do for a while? See the island. Take in the sight. Um, I guess so. Well. Okay, you might as well take this. What is it? It's a letter from Grandpa Marley. It was supposed to be delivered after his granddaughter got married. Oh. Now be gone. We have work to do. Eh. Hmm, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. Now that you finally <coughs> settled down with a fearless pirate husband, it's time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Luker Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Man. Ah. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person, but I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most 
terrifying secret in the Caribbean. A secret ten times as terrifying as Big Whoop? The secret of the ultimate insult. Yipes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the room. Oh my god. There's no telling what sorts of hex spawn mischief could be unleashed upon our fun little <coughs> pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. Take a case lock. You'll make it out. All right. They'll never know what hit them. Who can be double billed as I do? I <laughs> fabled your mama. <laughs> Looking here. <clears throat> Guy with two eye patches. Well, welcome to the Palace of Prostheses, home of the no detection, no infection, no rejection, 30 day guarantee. You smell new. Who are you? Okay. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Well, you don't smell so mighty to me. What? In fact, you smell kind of flowery. What? Heck, I can smell your lilacs and lilies aftershave even through my stuffy nose. Wow, you're good. Ah, oh, Dave. Around here, they call me Dead Eye Dave. I'm the Tri Island area's foremost expert in anatomical approximation. Well. So, how's the prosthetics business? Oh, it's been better. Let me guess. An Australian land developer is using strong arm tactics to try and buy up your business. What? Where'd you get a weird idea like that? Well, I just figured. Well, you figured wrong. Australia. What kind of a name is that anyway? <laughs> Never mind. So, what is wrong with your business? My monkey left me. Okay. And without a monkey to carve your prostheses, your business is suffering, right? Oh, you daft. I've never let Pongo carve prostheses. Well, then why do you miss him so much? Because Pongo handled all my paperwork and delivery. Of course. He was the only one who understood my back office's automated philomatic filing system. Without him, I have no idea which orders go with which customers. It's really upsetting my regular clientele. That's terrible. Regular clientele? Not to be insensitive, but are you blind? He has two eye patches, Guybrush. Have you heard from your filing monkey since he disappeared? What's he gonna do? Send me a postcard? Uh, <laughs> not to be insensitive, but are you blind? Do I look blind? I don't know. The twin eye patches could be some sort of hip new pirate fashion statement. Of course I'm blind, you lilac scented party waste! Sorry. <laughs> don't give it a second thought. My other senses more than compensate for my lack of sight. For example, I usually can identify my customers by their distinctive individual odor. Hey, Miranda. You can recognize people by their smell? Usually, no problem. Today, though, my nose is stuffed up because I got the, a bit of a cold. That's the mood. So I can only recognize amplified odors, like the lilac aftershave you generously applied to your face. Fortunately, my hearing's still sharper than a barge full of bunnies. So sharp. I'm gonna call him Baldy. The Guybrush. So how sharp is your hearing anyway? Sharp enough, Binky. Okay. I'm looking for some gifts for my differently abled pirate friends. Then you've come to the right place. What kinds of prostheses did you have in mind? What have you got that's free? Free? <laughs> what do you think I'm running? A charity? What can I say? I'm broke. <sighs> okay. You've appealed to my sense of generosity. Here's what I'll do. I'll let you have one of my untested, unguaranteed, unapproved experimental prosthetic devices. Oh, fun. What kind of prosthetic devices are we talking about? I'll let you choose. To a story. Huh? Humor me. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... 
Uh, Larry? Larry? Larry. Larry wanted to win the hand of a fair maiden named... Uh, Wendy? Wendy? Wendy. Tragically, Wendy had already pledged her heart to a jerk named... Fred? Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? Neither of them had the guts to go through with the wedding, so she turned her passion towards the stock market, where she lived happily ever after. The end. What a dreadful story. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What, what is it? That's a few dozen feet of Frinkle and Osterman's artificial guts. Oh, gross. I know. Those things always clog up on cold winter nights. Oh. Uh, double gross. Artificial guts? Okay. See you later. That makes one of us. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! I have no words to say about that. <laughs> oh dear. See you later. That makes one of us. Ah, oh, Monkey Island, Monkey Island. <clears throat> okay. Ah, oh, the bank. This looks smaller from the outside. Why not, young lady? Oh, it's an Australian. I can't convert these travelers' checks because we've never heard of uh, what's his name? Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly? That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name. Funny to say, too. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. <laughs> oh, stripped. Oh. I've got business to attend to, but I'll come back. And when I do, I want these honored. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. It's just a Mandrill. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Hi there. Welcome to the second bank of lucre. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? Um. I need to make a withdrawal. Do you have an account here? No. Then what else can I do for you? Um. <coughs> I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. And whose name is it under? Marley. H.T. Marley. Here's a letter that might help. I see. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh. Well, there is this. Oh, my. <laughs> That will be fine, sir. Just a moment. Okay. Mr. <laughs> yeah, what happened to the first bank? That's a good question. Mr. Quidworth? Hmm. Yes? Hmm? Well, everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. Threefoot. As you wish, sir. <laughs> oh, this is a pre-rendered cutscene. We can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. Here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old salt, wasn't he? <laughs> it does capture yeah, we weird, yeah. crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here, and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot water bottle, monkey pacifier. 
Prognathus, Jimmy Hoffa, Do It Yourself Tattoo Kit, Bloody Stiletto Knife, Bottomless Mug. Well, you really should have called me first. We have rules about leaving the vault unattended. Gee, I'm sorry. I'll go back. And I'll see if I can scrounge up a drop. Wax lip. Oh. Wax lip. Ah, there it is. Stick him up. Yikes. Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No, you're not. Well, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> I see you, Maddie. The real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. Away from the Barney heirlooms and be quick about it. Now, oh, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last place you'll ever see. <laughs> well, I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. There's a lot of weird political jokes in this. Yep. Deregulated banking. Ooh, a sea sponge. There's only one criminal more nefarious than me, and that's my dog's pain. Top of the world, boy! There's only one criminal more nefarious than me. Yes, you've said that already. It's a packing sponge. Oh, uh -oh. stocking up our inventory. Slay the duck. Elena probably kill me if I went around misusing this. I want all of it, and don't forget the loot behind the counter. Oh, forget the I can't ball. remove it with just my bare hands. Uh, can I just open the door? If donna? I could open it, I wouldn't be trapped in here. Okay. Top of the well, There's a little space between the door and the frame. The oh, here we go. Seems to be widening the crack a bit. With the sword jammed in there, the gap is larger. Let me put in a medium sea sponge. Uh, maybe a large sea sponge? And the small one too? Sponges stuffed in the door jam. Okay. There's only one criminal more nefarious than me, and that's my dog's pain. I don't really need to wipe that. The guts? Yeah, but I got them elsewhere. I don't think they're relevant. I don't think guts would work with that. Yeah. I can't get the sponges out, so I'm supposed to do that. 
I think I need some kind of liquid. Everybody free. If I could open this it, I wouldn't be trapped worry. in here. Well, I can't remove it with my bare hands. Mm. You'll never get me. Elena probably won't kill me if I run around misusing this. Hmm. There are dry sponges stuffed in the door jam. I don't want to stick my hand in the crack any more than I have to. Hmm. I can't remove it with my bare hands. How do you wear? I want all of it. And don't forget the loot. I can't remove it with my bare hands. Yeah, I need to figure out where to get those sponges wet. I think. This guy does not shut up. Hmm. Duck. Duck with top hinge. It quacks. That's G U Y B I U S H. Well, T H I E P W O O D. That's enough of that. There's only one criminal. There seems to be something inside. Oh, see. Let's get that music hey, there's a bottle of fine Ah, here we go. Top of the world, boy. Give me that grog. It's a bottle of the 67 Chateau de Spittle. No thanks. A grog this old could probably eat through most of my internal organs. Okay. Yep. Everybody freeze! This is a robbery! There we go. Whoa. So long, suckers. And remember, you just been robbed by Guybrush Freeport. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Hey, what's well, the commotion? Well, get him! <laughs> You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right, down to the jailhouse with you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? Why is Otis in the cells again? Right. No nose bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red handed. You! Although we haven't found the loot yet. You'll find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator, I need proof he was at the scene of the crime, and I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I could just bribe you. I'll ignore that, Threepwood. Around <laughs> here, we do things by the book. Now, since this is your first offense, you'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No, you are confined to Luca Island. You are not permitted to leave. Oh, no. And unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, you are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. I was wondering about that. It's rather uncomfortable. Can you loosen it? Well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more uncomfortable if you try to leave the island. <sighs> At least I'm not in jail. Well, and with that, I think I'm going to uh, leave it there. Shall we continue this next Thursday at uh, a similar time? I might make that my playthrough day of various games. Try and sneak in an extra day at some point. I know I'm cutting it a little bit short, but I have to go to bed and I am ill. And I should probably take a shower before I go to bed, so, you know. Gotta take care of myself. But hopefully I'll be able to continue this next week. We'll do some more Escape from Monkey Island, which is pretty fun so far. <coughs> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Well, I will see you guys later. Let's save.
Oh, I, these are my old saves. I'll save over them. And after that, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.